So we have an Ingenon Eagle football player that uh, is signing a scholarship to attend, and I'll let him explain the where he's headed. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm signing a scholarship to attend uh, Madonna University down in the Bonia, Detroit, to play football. Awesome. All right. Sign <laughs> your name on the dotted line. What's the group to do? Cool. All right. I'll, I'll let Dan kind of ask any questions if they have any. Uh, first off, for uh, Nick, why uh, Madonna University for you? Um, I just, you know, I felt home there. Uh, I like the coaches. The coaches talked to me all throughout football season, and then I uh, just continued. They told me they wanted me, and that that made me really want to go there. And uh, when they gave me the offer, I knew it was right for me, and I got family that lives down by campus, so. I knew it's what I wanted to do. Uh, what are some of your uh, early on goals when you head down there? Well, early on goals is uh, definitely get in the weight room and just work my way up to roster and hopefully earn a starting spot my freshman year. Uh, for Coach Lavier, what are uh, some of the uh, the qualities and the skills that Nick has that translate well to the next level? I think he'll he'll do fine at the next level. He's got the size, he's got the strength, he's got the attitude. Uh, it's just a, it's just a matter of getting stronger, get some coaching, and uh, and he'll do fine. And I know he'll get. We got great coaching at Madonna. Um, the head coach, Herb Haygood, was a good friend of mine. Had, we coached together at Saginaw Valley, so we kind of had that connection. And uh, I told Herb about him about a year ago. I said, you need to look at this kid. And uh, we, we looked at some film and looked at the grades. And he said, yeah, this is the exact kind of kid we need in our team. So he, he'll be fine down there. Well, uh, what do you uh, hope kind of example this sets for the rest of your program here in Engadine? Yeah, I think, you know, sometimes being in a super small town and, and very isolated. Sometimes kids don't really have that vision um, that they can and do have the opportunity to go on and, and, and play college football. You know, and, and maybe not just at local colleges. They can they can they can expand their horizons and really kind of you know we all love the UP, but sometimes it's kind of good to, to leave it for a little while and then you know yeah, you can always come back. <laughs> uh, for mom and dad, uh, what are your thoughts uh, on some of Nick's accomplishments here? I would have never dreamt this. But he would have achieved this much um, but he's wanted it since uh, sixth grade and I guess driving all those miles and waiting all those hours at practices um, have helped make his dream come true so I knew he could do it he's put a lot of time and effort into it in the last couple of years and it just been a dream of me to watch him go on Nick uh, last question what is uh, what has this whole process been like for you um, well, this last whole year has just been kind of crazy. Uh, the, the season was crazy, and the group, uh, I just did not see any of this happening before this year, especially the way 2020 was going. I did not expect any of this to happen, but I'm just so grateful for all everything I went through. It just made me a better person and made me better prepared for life. All right. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Thanks. Good job. All right.